Like many people, you want your existence to be acknowledged. You want to be celebrated. Often, as people, we find that simply celebrating the anniversary of our birth is not enough. Often, as people, we find that simply celebrating the half anniversary of our birth is also not enough. We look for other holidays and ways to be celebrated. We find traits of ourselves within different types of birds and celebrate the, the existence of different types of birds. And by celebrating the birds, we celebrate ourselves if we find traits within them that match our own traits. Happy Bird Day! If today is your bird day, even if it is not your bird day, adopt the bird of the day and celebrate your bird day. Stretch your arms outward and put on your bird day costume. Even if today is a day that celebrates crows and your bird day costume is made of blue feathers. Tell everyone you are a crow that has camouflaged yourself with the color of the sky so that you may commit stealthy daytime crow acts. Or tell everyone you are the dream crow that you met once in your dreams. A crow with blue feathers. A crow that said to you, Now you are asleep and ready for another dream with your dream guide friend this is the happy bird day dream we begin outside of the one dollar store the store where every item costs one dollar and today is storm cloud bird day a day where you must feel and record your moods but, you have misplaced your mood notebook, and you probably misplaced your mood notebook, possibly yesterday. When it was letting go of the past, bird day. A bird day that consists of letting go of the past. And sometimes letting go, also means making a mess. Like throwing your mood notebooks, and hair clipping collection, and news clipping collections, and other belongings that record the past, off of bridges or water towers or telephone poles. And now, we are outside of the one dollar store. The store where every item costs, one dollar. We are not outside of the two dollar, or the three dollar store, because you only have one dollar. Once, you had many more dollars, but spent all of your dollars, when it was, burning wallet bird day. A day in which everyone, goes around, spending all of their dollars. Spending dollars on the ground by throwing dollars down, and spending dollars on the air, by throwing dollars upward, and spending dollars on water, by flushing dollars down the toilet. And as a true burning, wallet bird day, observer, you spent all of your dollars. However, you found one dollar you forgot to spend a dollar that day, and now have one dollar remaining. For the one dollar store. So you can buy a new mood notebook, for storm cloud bird day. On our walk to the dollar store, you ask me not to say anything. Because a mood might appear and leave before you could write it down. I stay quiet and do not say anything. Also, I wear a blank face. A face so blank, you might confuse me for a plate. A face which does not appear on the scale of faces. The scale that nurses show to patients, when nurses want patients to describe their current pain level. 
the scale of faces, that begins with a face that beams pure joy, and then ends with the last face anyone ever wants to make. The face that screams and screams. And the scale of faces, helps the nurses try to recognize the pain under the face. Like pain is a character actor, who is familiar, but unrecognizable from their last appearance, within another patient's body. And so, on our way to the dollar store, I kept my face, and mouth, and nose, and eyes, and color, as blank as possible. Like a plate, so a mood would not appear, before you bought a new mood notebook, to write down your moods, for storm cloud bird day. And at the dollar store, you buy a notebook, a terrible cloud might like. A cashier dresses a glacier bird, takes your dollar, and hands you a receipt. And the cashier tells you, Happy birthday, if today is your birthday. You keep your eyes closed, and your ears closed, so the cashier, dressed as a glacier bird does not give you a mood before you can write it down, because on glacier bird day, the best thing to do is to slide it around on your stomach. And like everyone, you like to slide it around on your stomach. Once we are outside of the dollar store, you pull a pen, from your inventory pocket, and write down your first mood. You write, No storage unit, can store, all of the boxes of you. After writing in your mood log book, you feel a sense of great relief. Like water waiting patiently inside of a drinking glass. Because that mood wanted to escape from you, during the entire walk to the dollar store. You look at my blank face, and write down another mood, inside of your mood notebook. You write, Feeling in a ward silence. Which is, a silence that occurs, at an award ceremony. After the announcement of an award winner, but no one is sure, if the award winner is present, to receive the award. And everyone in attendance, has to sit, with their hands ready to clap, but cannot clap. Until someone rises, for the award. After writing in your mood diary, you feel a sense of great purpose. Like water sloshing around inside of a boot. I show you, the ghost I purchased at the one dollar store, for ghost bird day. The bird day, for the ghost bird. The bird day, when everyone buys a new ghost for their house, so that the new year's day ghost, that everyone buys for new year's day, has another ghost, to ghost around the house with. You look at the plastic $1 store bag, that contains my ghost bird day ghost. And then, you write down a mood, inside your mood journal. Once, I saw an amazing, computer fabricated image that reveals, how dolphins, see the world. But where is the amazing, computer fabricated image that reveals, how rocks, see the world after writing in your mood notebook you feel a sense of great balance like video of water inside of a television we walk to my apartment and once inside i release the ghost bird day ghost from the plastic one dollar store bag i hoped i had bought something exotic like a Crimean spice merchant, who was a victim of an ancient plague. The kind of ghost, who would be, easily confused, by my apartment, 
which is full of modern appliances and devices. The dollar store ghost turned out to be a fraudulent specter. Or at least not the kind of ghost I imagined the one dollar store would provide for one dollar. The ghost was actually a congregation of grasshoppers that died of old age and bound together in the ghost of a t-shirt advertising a brand of diet soda that is illegal to sell in this country these days. I had hoped the ghost would be a little violent. And you notice that the little face I make is full of disappointment. And then you write down a mood inside your mood diary. At night, I call for my night mother to appear from somewhere. And so she is a somewhere mother too. After writing in your mood notepad, you feel a sense of great well-being. Like the water inside a fog that likes to press its many faces against glass windows during a morning. I say, it is bad luck to go the whole of ghost bird day without a ghost for the apartment and I release the one dollar store ghost from the plastic one dollar store bag and the one dollar store ghost drops down with a wet thud to the kitchen floor and then rolls away to hide under the kitchen sink I bend down to look at the ghost under the sink and say it is bad luck to go the whole of ghost bird day without a ghost really bad luck and you write down in your storm cloud bird day mood book I remove flowers from my jacket I am little reverberation and I read flowers the same way as I read fantasies like how they take up pages around the heart. After writing in your mood notebook, you feel a sensation like comfort. Like a cat lounging in the sun on a beach, and the cat has turned off their phone. So no distractions from the outside world can disturb their lounging. I find a broom and then poke the broom handle into the area under the kitchen sink. I'd knock over a bottle of bleach. The bleach spills and part of the dream world disappears forever. A hole appears there now. A hole which falls out of the dream and into the unknown. The one dollar store ghost, which is a congregation of grasshoppers that died of old age, bound together in the ghost of a t-shirt, advertising a brand of diet soda, that is illegal to sell in this country these days, jumped into the hole, and left the dream, for parts unknown. And I said to the one dollar store ghost, happy bird day, if today is your bird day, Often in dreams, we buy cleaning supplies, but often do not read the instruction or warning labels. This is true of the cleaning supplies that we buy when we are awake. Cleaning supplies have labels with important information that we should take the time to read. There is really nothing more to say about cleaning supplies in the dream world or the waking world. Through the walls of my apartment, we hear my neighbors scream. And then, a thud, from the upstairs apartment shook the ceiling. I ask you to scream with me, so that the neighbors do not think I forgot to buy a ghost bird, day ghost, this year. And I begin to scream, and my scream sounds like, someone who is lost, and locked in the museum of bleak language after hours but you do not scream with me instead you turn to a blank page in your scream journal and write down p 
People keep letting me shine flashlights into their eyes and letting me blind them. People keep asking me to stop, but they do not take the flashlight out of my hand. I am a great sun on the street. It is night and there are not even stars. Clouds are so thick and frozen above. Could anything hard and frozen really stay afloat above us? I guess they have the spin of the earth helping, I guess. I am glowing out of myself. I am speaking as the flashlight now. After writing in your scream notebook, you feel a tremor run through your spine and you smile. Like the night, after the night has consumed a town, and the residents of the town run and howl through the streets. Because there is no law in the town about running and howling through the streets at night, because there is no mayor to make a law about running and howling through the streets at night. And also, because there is no sheriff to enforce the mayor's law. I scream again. I scream, like a person trapped in a city, that has begun to spin around, like a merry-go-round. So my neighbors think I am being haunted. And then I hear my neighbors, scream like people enjoying a one-week vacation at a ranch, where on the second morning, they find a rattlesnake, sleeping in bed with them. So then, I scream again, like a person in a cold shower. And then I hear my neighbors, scream like people who have lost their tree hobby. And then I throw a saucepan at the wall. And then I throw a chair at the ceiling. And then, my neighbors are quiet, and probably silently screaming, so I make a face like I am silently screaming. While I do this, you open your silently screaming, storm journal, and write down. Proving love is the problem. Feeling very tree right now. After writing in your silently screaming, storm journal, you feel a wind run right through you. Like you are a tree, strapped to the roof of a car, and do not care how many leaves you lose while driving, because you know you can grow more. Often in dreams, we feel like we are trees. And in dreams when we feel like trees, we become trees. This is perfect for bird days, we can extend our branches and let the birds of the day come to us. Like buffet birds, for buffet bird day, when everyone goes to a buffet, to eat at least four plates of food, whoever eats the most plates of food, becomes the mayor of buffet bird day, next year and gets to select the food offerings for the buffet. Last year, the man who became the mayor, ate 15 plates of food. I tell you, that I did not celebrate burning, while at bird day. Because, that is not a bird day that speaks to me personally. And so, I have dollars hidden among the books in my bookshelf. And I ask you to help me look through the books, on my bookshelf so I can shop at a five or maybe six dollar store, to buy a better ghost for ghost bird day. I think you agree to help, because you open your word therapy book, and write down. I built a room, then another room, with my mind. Wait. All are born. A room is born, then another room. I am thankful for all of my rooms, when they visit me, after a long absence. Please take some of my rooms. Make me feel lonely. After writing in your therapy book, you feel wide and open. Like a door left open, at the dog church so all of dog gospel can run out into the world and into the street, 
to disrupt traffic and funerals in classrooms, and cause humanity to question their position in the order of animals. At the bookshelf, I take each book down, one at a time. I open the cover, then turn a page, and then another page, until I have turned all of the pages, to see if a dollar is hidden inside. I tell you, the best place to hide anything in the world, is inside of a book. And then explain, not just money, but a truth. Your truth. Because even if someone reads a book, that does not mean they will understand a book. And then I show you a book about water, the history of water, written by a sailor. And turn a page, to show you what I have hidden. It is a feelings man. The feelings man, is a doll that cannot burn. The feelings man, is a doll that you can place next to your bed, and cannot burn, no matter how dangerous your feelings are. The feelings man, will remove or replace, your feelings while you sleep. You can also take the feelings man, in the car or to your job. And the feelings man, will work as well in those places as he would in your bed. Just do not look at him. I do not know if the feelings man, dates anyone. I have never seen two feelings men, together. I am not sure they are actually men. But that is how they are advertised, as men, when they could really just be persons who work to replace your feelings. I open another book, and turn the pages of the book one at a time, looking for dollars. The book is about a 24-hour diner, that is invisible. With a waitress, that takes orders for invisible food from a customer. With a cook, that cooks the invisible food so the waitress, can deliver the invisible food to the customer. A customer, who eats and then complains, about the invisible food so the cook must walk out of the invisible kitchen to talk to the customer about the invisible food. And then they problem solve the invisible food situation. And everything goes well for the people inside the 24 hour diner, that is invisible. Until a mysterious invisible man, enters the invisible 24 hour diner and everyone gets quiet, because the mysterious invisible man, pulls a mysterious invisible object, out of his invisible briefcase. And then the book ends, or at least from what I can see, because the remaining pages of the book are blank. Or perhaps the pages are not blank, and are instead written with invisible ink. Or perhaps there is no invisible ink on the pages, but instead the novel is an experimental novel. One where the reader must decide what the mysterious invisible object, the mysterious invisible man, pulled out of his invisible briefcase. I tell you about the plot of the novel, and about the blank pages, and ask your opinion about what happened after the mysterious invisible man, pulled a mysterious invisible object, out of his invisible briefcase. You open your invisible thought journal, and stare at it, until it records the invisible thoughts you think toward the pages, and to the journal, you thought. I would love to help, but I am somewhere else today. I looked at you, and you could see the question on my face before I asked. You smiled. I saw your answer, and smiled. We have a whole new values system. We look for the obvious things. Now, I tell you what is obvious. My hand closes around yours. An apple thrown at a building will explode. A car will go by. A boy will watch a car. I like when a boy watches a car. 
I will make the moon proud. I will make the moon upset. After you finish staring at your invisible thought journal, you feel like a child standing in front of the sun. A very large child who does not allow the sun to shine upon the smaller children who lay on the ground at your large feet. A very large child. A child who is maybe the size of a library. I continue to open books and turn through them page by page. Books about pine cones. Books about pine bats. Books about bats who speak languages and have desires and then circumstances and obstacles to overcome to obtain their desires. And then the bats experience tragedies because they have obtained their desires. Desires they no longer desire because for the bats, before they obtained the desires they sought, they were already content with sleeping within the colony of bats. Bats who did not have desires, and bats who turn into bats that are skeptical of the bat with desires. Bats who do not sleep near the bat with desires, because they do not wish to become sick with desires. You open your desire bat, and emit a sound. Like a high and fast clicking, to the animal, and the desire bat emits a sound like a high and fast snapping, back to you. You emit sounds I do not understand, because I am not a bat. You close your desire bat, and feel that there are many insects in the space around you. And so you then run around the room, with an open mouth. I open a book about years, and inside I find the New Year's ghost in the shape of an apple, sleeping underneath page 135. I say to the New Year's ghost, Hello, New Year's ghost, are you lonely? Would you like me to find you a ghost bird day, ghost friend? The New Year's ghost does not reply, and pulls page 135, over its apple-shaped body to go back to sleep. I say to the New Year's ghost, can you help me find dollars within the pages of these books so that I might find you a ghost bird day, ghost friend? The New Year's ghost does not reply. And I say to the ghost, happy bird day, if today is your bird day. The New Year's ghost does not reply, but then a book about museums falls from the bookshelf and to the ground. It is a book about museums in the real world, not the dream world. What do museums mean? In the real world, museums are dangerous places. Their architecture is designed to lure people and children with a false idea of timelessness. A false idea that causes people and children to hide within them until the closing hour, so that people and children may spend the night and have adventures. But often people and children are captured by security guards and then frozen into miniature figurines. Miniature figurines that are placed into dioramas that portray life as it may have possibly been during the Black Plague or one of the first three floods of the ancient world. No one really knows about life during those times, still museum directors continue to build such dioramas. The museums of the dream world are the opposite of real world museums. Like forests and malls, they are safe meeting place for all of the dreamers old dreams to gather, mingle, workshop and therapy shop. Like the inventory pocket, the cabinet in the chest of every dreamer, that allows a dreamer to store dream survival supplies, and mementos, museums of the dream world, store dream world mementos, and dreams. 
I open the book about museums, and find that the book is an inventory full dollars. I show you all of the dollars inside of the book, and say, we can now go to the $20 store, or even, the $25 store, and purchase a ghost bird day ghost, with extra features, like a flashlight or calculator. And I say, think of all of the numbers we can now add, or subtract, or multiply, or something else, a ghost with a calculator can do. All we will need to do is ask. You open your mathematical wish log, and fill a dozen pages with numbers you would like to calculate, together and apart from each other. Numbers and even. Variables. You close your mathematical wish log, and feel like sad fruit, in the moonlight. Moonlight that covers up the dark bruises and deep cuts in your skin because you were dropped on the ground as a young fruit dark bruises and deep cuts that make you feel like a sad fruit and you begin to worry less than you did the night before at the fruit salad party and no one would talk to you and you felt ashamed of the dark bruises and deep cuts in your skin and ran into the woods where there was no moonlight I open a window, and call out to the $25 store. The $25 store calls back to me. I ask the $25 store if they have a ghost delivery charge. And the store answers back that they have a $5 delivery charge. I say thank you, and then call out to the $20 store. The $20 store arrives at the window. An employee dressed like a cereal bird greets me. I ask about their $20 ghosts, if they have any extra features. The employee dressed like a cereal bird, tells us that their $20 ghosts can reserve movie tickets, for a small convenience fee and also vibrate. I ask if they have a ghost with a calculator. The employee tells us, some ghosts are familiar with math. But that does not mean they are skilled enough to be counted on as calculators. I tell the employee thank you, and that we would like one ghost please. The employee dressed like a cereal bird, hands me a box, which I hand to you. A box that you then shake to feel if anything shifts within it. To see if we bought a ghost, or another fraudulent specter. You hear nothing move inside the box. The employee of the $20 store, takes our money and tip and says, Happy bird day, if today is your bird day. I close the window. You hold the box in your lap, and then you look down to the box. The box becomes a kind of storm cloud bird day notebook. A notebook you can place words inside. And you place a ghost bird day, ghost poem in the box. A ghost bird day, ghost poem like this. I look for your art, and your movies, and the way of you in movies about you. I listen for you in movies. I move my mouth when I hear you speak, so you speak through me, just for pretend. In the night, I move my mouth again. I do not hear you, outside of myself, I let you speak through me again. When it is night, the mouth of the night moves, I see it smile and know something wrong is about to happen. It feels that way, if you see the smile of the night you will know. I sit in front of my house and watch the smile. I would like to hear you. And so I listen for you. I wait in front of my house, and then wait. A breeze moves my hair, and I cannot see the smile of the night. This means I have been consumed by the night, and all the things the night wants to say to me. I open my mouth and the night speaks through me.
and after putting your ghost bird a ghost poem inside the box of a $20 store ghost you feel haunted and ready for another day hunted by a happy bird day if you want it to be a happy bird day if the day is your bird day and now you are awake this has been the happy bird day dream with your dream guide friend dream guides are written and recorded by chad redden